right, everyone, thanks for tuning in. So I haven't even touched this motor yet. Still have it sitting. I gotta uh, pick up a stand and some other stuff before I could go ahead and put it up and start tearing it apart. But today I'm just gonna work on the 335 and fix that leaking issue that's in the back. And then over here, you can see the, I guess it's coming in from back here. And then you see coming in through here and then bam down here water so it's not as much as last time all right so i got the battery out and yeah that's quite a bit of water what i was worried about was here getting like rusted out so i'm guessing this is from the hurricane this is like pretty clean but it's a bunch of water in there so i gotta vacuum that out dry it out and then try to seal up over here. I'm gonna try to take it off and see. But I think I might have a placement part. Let's. Uh, nope, these are the inners. Thought I would have something, but nah, I don't think I have any lights to replace it. So I have to cock it up and then see if I could fix it. So I got the screws out and let's look at this light. Oh no. Oh man, I gotta clean this up. So you can see the water all up in here. I'm surprised the light actually still works. Let this dry out a bit and I'm gonna start cleaning up around the edges. It already got, ugh, ugh. I thought it was rust, but it's just grime and debris. So I should be able to clean this up real good. So I'm gonna go start cleaning now. All right, so it looks a whole lot better. All right, so clean this up and it's as clean as it's gonna get, but I think I need to go ahead and get a replacement of this also. So I'm gonna try to hit the junkyard and see if I could pick one off. You can see on mines, it has like a bunch of like hairline fracture cracks all over it. And, out. and I was able to get the water out of this. So that worked out. Yeah, I'm gonna try to put this back in the car. I was looking at something to like go ahead and seal off the perimeter of this, the black part, but I don't have anything. I was thinking like some rubber or something, but I looked at my drawers and I can't find anything. So yeah, we'll see about that. So I'm gonna put down some like a towel, that towel right there in the battery area until I'm able to go ahead and get a replacement because I think it's like even this part starting to peel off. So uh, I'm gonna try to fix this or rig it up as best as I could so it doesn't leak, but have that down there to catch any water. It's back on and you could tell this where the culprit is. I try to put it back on a little bit, secure it, but I definitely know what's gonna happen. It's gonna rain down here, water's gonna come and then it's gonna come down to here, inside here. It's a little crack kind of where you could get water in. So this right here, if it's functional, it'll like, it'll bring the water down and then it'll just like leap down or something. I'm not sure, I'm just speculating. But from what I could tell, that's what it looks like is happening. And we're now good to go. So let that sit for a bit till I get a replacement. All right, so I got a 335 wrapped up, uh, sealed as good as it's gonna get for now until I go ahead and buy a new um, light. So I'm just gonna head up Harbor Freight right now and try to go pick up a engine stand. That way I can get this motor up off the ground. So remember to drink your water and I'm about to head out to Harbor Freight right now. I take this off a while ago because of, I don't know, the dealership always put their stuff on the car and I hate it. But yeah, so far this Lexus have been pretty decent. Well, it's for the namesake of the name, Lexus are pretty reliable. So 
Uh, it's been pretty nice. I'm gonna do a review on it sooner or later. It just hit 10,000 miles and got it in July of 2022. So it's been racking up mad miles. I'm gonna do a review on it sooner or later. And um, yeah, so far I like it. It's not my 335 kind of power and stuff, but it gets the job done. We have arrived and no time too soon because it like it's about to rain. It's pretty overcast right now. I'm trying to find where the heck this thing going to be at. All right, so that was a bust. And I talked to the people uh, that work at Harbor Freight and they were like, yeah, pretty much everywhere is low on stock. I think the only closest place is like in, like right over there on 95, a good minutes from me or even down in Fort Lauderdale. So I'm like, man, so the stands won't come in back in stock until the first week of February. So I guess I can't do nothing with that motor until that period of time, so. Man, that pretty much put a whole damper on what I was trying to do with this motor and get it. I just wanted to get on the stand and start getting things rolling because I really want to get all these cars uh, back on the road. I guess I could just wait on having parts getting shipped in because I have quite a few stuff to get shipped in. Like mainly like the bolts for the engine stand. I know I'm going to need that. I don't want to use the OEM transmission bolts because, yeah, some things will snap. And I would refuse to have a motor just dropping on the ground over here, especially on my... um garage floor so for the 535 i'm just going to get a low mileage engine or as low as a mileage engine i could find or i'm just going to have to go ahead and um build one of these engines and uh refresh it and throw it in so i refresh that current one so it's a lot of different potentials and pretty much trying to be as cost effective as possible but still making it like a banger setup you know what i mean so pretty much about to go ahead and go get my run on real quick uh, it's the evening and I'm close by to the park. One of my favorite parks to go ahead and chill out at. So I'm gonna uh, go do that and thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.